All right, boys, if it wasn't obvious what we're doing today, we are finally beginning what I think is going to be the greatest playthrough of Final Fantasy VII on YouTube. So we've modded the hell out of the game. It looks better than it ever possibly could before. We've got the cutscene mods to actually make the cutscenes run at 30 FPS. The cutscenes also have models changed to only use, like, the good models. Like, and the actual gameplay has been modded to be 60 FPS, to be all this, like, all these insane mods to make the game look and play better than ever. And this is the perfect time to do this with the announcement of FF7 Rebirth existing. It is time, man. We are in Final Fantasy VII Hype Central. There it is, man. Uh, it's definitely been longer than I would like to admit from when I last played this game. Let's talk about the original game was before Remake came out. So I guess we're, at, we're sitting on like two, three years at this point. Re Remake's been out for a little while already, which is crazy to even think about. But yeah, dude, we are here. Final Fantasy VII. Let's do it, man. The time has come. Let's get this bombing mission underway, dude. So, the way that I'm going to be doing this video is essentially I'm going to be cutting it into a few distinct parts. So, look at that. Everything is 60 FPS. It's a little jank with the 60, but you know what? I don't care. It's just, it looks so smooth and so hype. Then there we go, boys. We're in the game. And yeah, boys, we're finally here. 60 FPS, FF7. Fully remastered. The game is underway. It, this looks so good, man. So the original game, a lot, a lot, a lot of people started with Remake thinking it would be a true remake. And I understand Square Enix did some dirty things in that game's advertising. So if you want to play the original and you're watching this video to catch up, this is going to be a good place to do it. So we're going to do this in a few videos. We're going to basically just cover the main parts. Anything like the filler stuff, I'm going to kind of just gloss over or summarize it quick. But yeah, we're going to just use standard names. Cloud Strike, baby. That's Biggs, Wedge, Jesse, they're all here. And um, for whatever reason, I don't really know why. It always fucks up the model for these three, but it actually looks like it's fine this time. Oh, look at this. Give us the shot. Give us the shot in 60. Even if it's a little jank. There it is. There it is, man. Let's go. The same exact shots in Remake, and they knew what they were doing. But yeah, basically what we're trying to do here is just make the absolute best playthrough of this game possible. I'm not going to do every bit of side content, but I will do the stuff that I think is important. And if people want them, maybe I will try and defeat Ruby and Emerald Weapons later on. It's a Barry. Yo, it's first time in your reactor. Hey, yo, bada bing. But no, it's not. It's not. Cloud is a seasoned soldier veteran. Yeah, like the bombing mission is pretty damn straightforward to how it is in Remake. So I don't really feel as big of a need to voice everything Barrett does here. But Barrett is essentially just telling us, oh, Shinra's sucking the life out of the planet and all that crap. And they are definitely doing that. So as you guys can see, the bombing mission uh, goes much... I know, I know, I know, Jesse, how do you ladder? The bombing mission does go a hell of a lot faster in the base game, dude. Like, we're already halfway through. All right, Cloud, set the bomb. And then he's having flashback. See, Cloud has all these crazy things going on with his brain the entire time. And yeah, dude, this is the first, like, hour and a half of the of remake. Ten minutes in the base game. Very memorable boss, though. This is the Guard Scorpion. Obviously, he's a classic. But basically, uh, what his thing is, when he raises his tail, if you hit him while his tail is raised, he will do an attack that just AoEs everyone and does some serious damage. Uh, even he got a new model with this mod. He looks good. But as a robot, he is definitely uh, weak to Bolt Lightning. So just do it, right? Easy. Easy stuff, man. All right, so now we just hang on. We don't bother attacking him. Uh, there's no real reason to heal. Attack while it's tails up, so I kind of this later. Damn, that dialogue goes fast as shit. And see, camera moves, tails down, we can attack. Let's do it, lads. Lightning him up. So, the Guard Scorpion is not the hardest fight in the original. It's actually an interesting comparison to compare the two fights. But, he's fun. Easy, boys. Nice and easy. We got a new gun for Barrett, and we're gonna just move on. I must have played this part of this game. A hundred times at this point, dude. That was every time I replay FF7, I don't always finish the game, but I always start from the beginning because the bombing mission is just such a good start. There it goes. It be exploding, boys. Dude, the tech they used to interpolate all the animations. That fire looks good still. And you can clearly tell who our main character is based on the models. Just like in most real uh, modern games, which is hilarious. Oh, well, it's out your money. We'll wait till we get back. Run. There's Loveless. Genesis is his favorite thing. I like how much more legible all of these background things are now. You could never really make them out before. Now you can still kind of see what they were going for. 
Even if they did use AI to upscale. Also, there's an Earth. Uh, what happened? Uh, nothing. Uh, hey, what's going on? You don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these. Do you like them? They're only one gill. Buy one. Oh, why, thank you. Damn, they did a good job on these animations for these models, too. Like they, they, All these combinations of mods uh, work out so well. I need the experience, so I'm going to fight all these guys. It really has been too long since I've played this game, man. Like, I'm a bad Final Fantasy VII fan. As my comments will tell me based on my reaction to the Rebirth trailer. I'm sorry guys, I was tired in the German subtitles. For one thing, they made this model look just like the like actual official art looks, which is sick. Like, it's basically how I always pictured the game would look if it was like just remastered. And Ever Crisis is kind of doing the same thing as far as the style goes. It's really cool. But alright, Cloud's just gonna continuously kick some ass, and he's like, alright, he's talking real fast, doesn't have enough time to run, enough babbling run, and look at that, they added the model. They changed the model in the cutscene, that's amazing detail. I don't know how they did it, I'm impressed and proud of the FF7 community, man, these guys are beasts. There's Tifa though, we finally get to say hi to Tifa. Tifa, please, God, make us a drink, I'm begging you. Welcome home, Cloud, hope everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? No, it went swimmingly. There was no fighting at all. I never took Cloud as the guy that gets into a fight at the drop of a hat. We got it for you, Tifa, obviously. We need to make sure that we get the Tifa ending. All right, we gotta go downstairs for the meeting in the very conspicuous uh, pinball machine. But first, we have to go hang out with Tifa for a bit. Yes, let me sit down. Let me get let me get some alcohol. Give me something hard. Go nuts, Tifa. Make the strongest drink you got. There's almost some absinthe combined with tequila. This dude looks super weird now. He looks so much weirder than usual. I think they like upscale or like even like a snout or something, dude. I glossed over it a little bit, but she was saying how the bomb had a much bigger explosion than anticipated, which actually was addressed more in Remake where it was actually Shinra that made the explosion way worse. We wouldn't be here if there were any soldiers. They really hyped up soldiers so much, but a lot of these third classes and things are just like pansies, bro. I like that Chuck, it's a good Chuck Barrett. Tifa, let him go. He still misses the Shinra. He doesn't care about Shinra or soldier, and he's leaving. Great, you guys. I'm going home. Bye, Avalanche. I'm going home. Oh, damn, she fast. Plant's dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone's got to do something. To let Barrett and his boys handle it. Got nothing to do with me. I can't talk. Honestly, Cloud, what are you doing? Why are you trying to walk away from Tifa? Look at, look, look at Tifa. Who would walk away from her? He lost all his memories, bro. She doesn't remember though. She's she's not uh she's not a Chad. Oh my God, he's huge. He looks he looks like a little Chad now. I oh, see Tifa had to put on her nice dress for you, Cloud. That's what happened here. They're all finding a job. I'm gonna be a soldier. Look at that hair, dude. Someone's got to cosplay this version of Cloud. I'm surprised no one has. That might be the best way to do it. Just cosplay young Cloud. He's like, I'm gonna join soldier. I'm gonna be the very best, like no one ever was. I'm gonna leave you forever. Goodbye, Tifa. I'm too cool for you now that I'm joining Soldier. So long, non-soldiers. Yeah, man, Cloud, Cloud's uh, gotta save her. That's the promise. If she's in trouble, Cloud's gotta save her, period. That's rule number one of Cloud Strifing. I like how Barrett just climbed up the thing. He's in such a rush. Here's the cash. He threw it out of his gun arm. We're a little short, we need more money. All right, let's do it. Tifa's coming this time, right? Did you sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. All right, Sector 5 reactor, let's go. He's uh, he's trying to shoot with the wrong arm. My dude's freaking out back there, holy crap. We got three minutes to chill. My friend, my friend, can you stop vibrating? Alarm, they know that we're on the train. Jump off the train and go kick the Shinra's ass, right? Hey look, it's Johnny again. Was he on the train in Remake? I actually don't remember. Fun fact right there, by the way, uh, that guy that uh, Jesse just knocked out uh, was feeling her up before. So Jesse just went and punched him in the face on the way down. But it's a little hard to tell what's going on because of the flashing lights. It's actually easier to tell in the in the smaller mods, like in, in the without the mods. They're jumping, boys. Don't let your guard down until we get to the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse have got everything ready for us, so move it. And you guys remember how annoying the area to get to the reactor was in Remake. That's, that was a Remake edition, friends. That was not in base game. Like, see that dude? We just it, it just ignores all the bullshit of the other area. Let's do it. Let's blow the thing up again. Uh oh, the flashback. This is when Tifa got wrecked. This is the classic scene where Tifa basically just curses re the reactors and Shinra and everything. Cloud's getting his memories back, or he's getting a memory back. Oh no, my God! It's the president. President Shinra. Yeah, in the OG game, he comes here himself. Man doesn't hologram in. It's kind of a ballsy move, though, to do it himself. Hmm, 
I don't remember who you are. I'm sorry, nerd. It's a shame you're not Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. And here it is, boys, the Airbuster. Yeah, it just kind of rolls on in. Yeah, that's a soldier, all right. Let's flip it ass. And we get the classic badass Airbuster music. All right, we got Barrett the Healer, Cloud the Magic Man, and yeah, just kick his ass. Uh, let's keep using bolts. Barrett, we're gonna need you to heal Cloud the, the long way because he's got big bomber. And Tifa. The hell? Oh, we oh we won. I didn't even realize it was dead. Uh, that was easier than I remember, man. Airbuster is such a cool boss. One of the best fights in Remake, but it's just such a throwaway boss in this game. How he's just super straightforward. Oh no! Cloud's gonna Cloud's gonna die, bro. Can you do anything? Not a damn thing. I mean, you like shoot like some kind of grappling hook at him or something, you know? Cloud's like, don't worry, I got it. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Don't talk like this at the end. He's like, okay, hold on. He's not holding on. But look, see, they, they the these modders, dude. They added the like the in-game battle models to these scenes, and it just it just works. Sure, it still looks a little derpy because he's just flying down in a hilarious way, but hey man, they did it and it works. This is how Cloud and Aerith uh, re-meet, how they reacquaint. Crashes into the church, dude. He just crashes in. And we don't even get to blow up the reactor. Flowers grow here, nowhere else in Midgar. All right, so sorry guys, I loaded my save and it actually just put me to the part right after the Turks invade. I actually don't know why, but basically Turks are here and they want Aerith because reasons. I feel like it's actually this one. I feel like it's this one. Hey, I got him. All right, great. I forgot. Sorry, just a little bit of content there, guys. Uh, it was basically just Aerith telling Cloud to be their bodyguard when she saw them coming. That kind of sucks. Because, you know, the Turks... T Turks are uh, good characters that start out being, you know, antagonists. But I like the Turks a lot. They're cool. They have a pretty cool backstory. Their theme is amazing. Look how fast Cloud can go through all this crap. So they're, now they're just talking about how she knows a bit about Soldier, which... We're not supposed to know what she's talking about, but we know, we as fans know that she's talking about how she used to know Zack. So, you know, that's what that is. And how, uh, you know, Cloud kind of reminds her of him because he literally took on his personality. But we brought Aerith back to her mom, and now we have to go escape without Aerith realizing. Yeah, Aerith is trying to flirt, bro, but I'm just like, nah, bro, we got Tifa back home, you know, that's, that's what it's all about, bro, that's what it's all about, bro. So, and yes, Cloud is probably calling Aerith a bro, at least in my head canon right now. But she also wants to escort me back to Sector 7, thus defeating the entire purpose of us escorting her. We're, we're gonna try and ditch her, which, you know, we all know how that's gonna turn out, but we're gonna try and ditch her. Good night, Cloud. Don't you try and leave, Cloud. You can never leave, Cloud. We gotta sneak past this girl, but first I gotta grab this, uh, this potion here. Sector 7 is this way. <laughs> Look at that pose, dude. She's just asserting such Chad energy. It's supposed to be her with her hands on her hips, but it's so it was so funny looking, dude. The serious Chad energy. Cloud, bro, we, we know she's coming. Like, she wants to meet this other girl, bro. She wants to she wants to meet Tifa. And in, in remake, they had the whole Oh my god, it's the Hell House. Alright, let's let's kill the Hell House. Um this is the original monster that the remake boss was based on. And the Hell House is just a hilarious creature that I can't help but love. Alright, I'm glad that we fixed the animation for the 60 FPS mod. Uh, okay. But I'm glad we fixed the animation with 60 FPS mod. It's not perfect still, but it's definitely better than it was. Like, it adds, uh, it, it evens out a little better to the point where it doesn't just look awkward. If I remember right, the Hell House has a chance of dropping a good staff for Aerith. It didn't this time. But yeah, this, this area in Remake was a whole big-ass dungeon. While it's literally just like a street in the base game. But yeah, that whole like hour, hour and a half long area is just one little thing right here. Alright, she's gonna go chill up there. Cloud, and she's gonna be like, come on, Cloud. You, you don't gotta hang out with Tifa when you can, well, you can hang out with me on this weird slide. What rank? You know, in Soldier. First class. Yeah, he definitely, totally, definitely was first class. Looks around. My first boyfriend. She's like, oh. They weren't serious, but they could have been if Zack hadn't uh, met his uh, unfortunate, um, unfortunate uh, oh no -inses. And there's Tifa. I guess they didn't make a dress model for her. Let's go do the Corneo stuff. All right, boys, we made it. We are finally in Wall Market, one of the best areas in the game. And we're going to do the whole side quest to the best of our ability to make sure that everything goes swimmingly. Tifa is our newest girl. She's interviewed with Don Corneo as we speak. Yeah, that's our hint. Now we got to go talk to Don Corneo. Now we all know how this goes. This place is a sleaze fest. Don Corneo is trying to bang any possible new honeybee girl, you know. 
And uh, yeah, he's he's a bit of a dirtbag. All right, this is the Don's mansion. We gotta take a look. I'll tell Tifa about you. No, don't don't do that. Why not? You know what kind of place this is. It's basically a whorehouse, pretty much. Don Corneo is a uh, interesting fellow. But now Aerith has the great idea that we should cross dress. So we're gonna go do that. And I can only pray that this mod pack has a fancy mod. Uh, like built for specifically <laughs> if there's for the cross dressing cloud, but all right, let's let's get every piece of the equipment that we can. We gotta go to the dress shop. My father's been yeah, his dad's basically just getting plastered at a bar because he's bored of making dresses. So we gotta go, you know, we gotta go psych him out. We gotta go, we gotta get him out of it. We gotta go bring him back to his his former glory. You there, Mr. Bar Owner? I'm gonna need you to go up back and make that stuff. He's just like, make me close. But yeah, and then she's like, he's super into cross-dressing. You think it'd be really cool. So he's like, you know what? You know, I was getting bored. This is perfect. All right, we want soft plus shimmers. Gotcha, gotcha, all right. I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess this up, right? So basically now we're like, oh, you need a wig. And I'm like, obviously. So now we got to go to the gym and out squat some boys to get the best wig, obviously, because that's how it works. <laughs> big bro, don't make any cues. You can beat big bro. That's right. So you got to compete at the squats. Right, the and, oh, shit. Uh, we got to go to the diner and insult the chef. All right, boys, let's go get some delicious food. I can go for some Korean barbecue right about now. It's so good. It was all right. Here's an item for the pharmacy. Pharmacy coupon. We need the digestive. We have to go help the person at the bar finish their shit because they ate something that's not sitting right with them. Give her the medicine. And there we go. No more throwing up for you. You drank too much. So we got the sexy cologne now. But yeah, he wants us to go to the vending machine at the inn and find some mysterious item. Let's stay the night at the inn. Buy the expensive item, obviously. All right, so now that we got the $200 item, which in remake is the sauce, which is hilarious, by the way. Love the sauce. Uh, now we can go trade that and get ourselves a tiara. I think it's the tiara. I guess the sauce was a protein drink in this. I remember, I liked, I remember the one that I liked better, which was the, which was the sauce. And now we got to get some makeup. So we got to go to all the way over here. But I was going into what's essentially a strip club, really. At least it's more of a strip club in this game than it actually than it is in uh, main game. But we gotta go get them to do our makeup. We're, we're gonna go to the fuck room, I guess. But yes, they want you to think some things are going on. It's basically the equivalent of one of those Dragon Quest uh, puff puff scenes. But this is what's actually happening. Big strong man's beating the shit out of us to wake us up. Please, ladies, please. I need makeup. They just, they did it. All right, boys, we're ready. We're ready for Cloud to be chosen by Don Corneo. So, dude, this area was a little bit changed. It's a fucking sex dungeon, dude. So there's Tifa, and, she, and he's like, what the hell? He didn't want her to see her like that. But, dude, this room is clearly like a sex dungeon. There's blood on the on this thing here. Like, somebody was getting hate-fucked, bro. And it's it's all still here in Remake, I think, if I'm remembering it correctly. I don't remember the, the death fuck table, though, here. Like, that was a little much. Let me just go ahead and grab this ether. And then we'll talk to Tifa. She's gonna be like, wait a minute. Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? Never mind, what happened? You're alive. That's that's something. That's good to know. Tifa's here because they, they got like there were some people poking around Sector 7, and uh, they they squeezed some info out of them to come here. So Tifa just did the same thing we did and just basically snuck in as a a prostitute, long story short. But uh, you know, there he is. There's Don Corneo. Oh, I thought we were supposed to talk to him, but. All right, ladies, line up in front of the Don. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's looking for his bride, but you know, he has to put him through some trial runs first. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So this is actually much harder to achieve in this than it is in Remake, because he, he usually picks uh, he usually picks Tifa, I think. Usually. But uh, yeah, he likes chicks that are hard to get, so he wanted the sexiest one of them all, which is Cloud. And I like how their animation just didn't finish for a second there. Cloud's got to go put some moves on Don Corneo real quick, so let's go put some moves on him. All right, pussycat, come to daddy. Get on there, Cloud. Do you like me too? Of course. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Whatever you want, daddy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Going for the kiss, Cloud. And yeah, they came back in their normal shirt. No, I wasn't really going to kiss him. And then boom, we put on the new model. And it's time to whip some ass. If you don't tell us, I'll chop it off. No, not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. So talk. They were looking for Barrett. That's it. 
Uh, that's amazing. They're looking for Barrett. If I told you who, was, who told me to look for him, I'd be killed. If you don't tell us, I'll rip it off. You know, threatening a man's penis is like the most, is the most accurate way to threaten somebody. Like that's, that's, that's how you get someone to talk. Like straight up, really. Like, you know. And then of course Tifa, she'll smash it. He'll smash his dick into tiny little pieces, bro. Some dark shit. But yeah, basically they are going to drop the plate on them. We know this, but they're gonna break, drop the plate, drop Sector 7 plate on, onto the slums, and bada bing, the entire place goes to shit. All right, Corneo, we will be back for you later, you scumbag, so don't you worry. And we're in the sewer, boys. Let's check on Tifa first. It's the worst over. We got a surprise boss fight. Maybe not. Okay, so... This is the apps? I forget what it's actually called. Did I not give Tifa Restore? Yeah, I literally took it off air and, and forgot to give it to Tifa. I think it's Abzu in Remake, or I think it's actually supposed to be Abzu the whole time. Very important job there. Heal the shit out of all of us, please. Yeah, dude, the, the Abzu is not the toughest thing. It's... It can hit pretty hard, but having Aerith here just makes it so easy because whenever she takes, like, enough, like, significant damage, she's gonna just fully heal everybody anyway. And plus we got Limit Break. Go ahead and Brave Room Cloud. Thank you. He's dead. All good. Mission accomplished, lads. And he got Cross Slash. That's beautiful. Okay, so, made it back to Sector 7. But here we go, boys. Made it to the plate lane. Dude, we're like 20 plus hours into Remake. T first two hours of base game. But this part is actually like crazy. And it's as good in uh, base game as it is in remake. You see Barrett up there just kicking ass. And there's there's Wedge. Wedge is uh he it looks like he fell okay. <laughs> that was weird. A couple graphical little tidbits here that are still not great. But yeah, uh yeah, Wedge dies. So unlike remake, Wedge dies. But yeah, Tifa's uh sending Aerith to go rescue Marlene. Is that it's Biggs! Yeah, so Biggs isn't making it out of this. Like, Remake changed a few things, man. Like, certain characters are definitively just... just going to die. Uh, but this part in Remake was insane, man. Don't say less, don't say less. You owe me a pizza. Yeah, dude, Jesse's going down too. There's Barrett with some, some dead boys. Barrett, we're here, we're here to help. Uh, let's go take out the Shinra. It's time to take on the Turks, boys. Turks and Kaikos. He's so fast! Reno, you are an absolute asshole. Let's whip his ass. All right, so Reno is not a super tough boss, but he is a boss. And Tifa, we need to use magic on those. If I remember right, it has to be magic to break that. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Tifa beat the shit out of him. Cloud beat the shit out of him. Uh, doing the pyramid thing again. I, f I genuinely forget. Let's see. I don't know if I could just hit it. Can I just punch it? Will it go away? It does. Okay, it doesn't have to be magic. I don't know why I thought it had to be magic. I'm like mixing up remake things with base game things now. Big shot him. Boom, right in the face. Imagine you're, you're Reno, right? You just get, and you're just getting the shit kicked out of you by three people. Yeah, the pyramid thing is basically what he's known for, so. I remember if you didn't know to break the pyramid, this fight can actually be really hard. But I remember vividly back then having trouble with this fight because I didn't know how to break the pyramid. Because I was a dumb kid. Uh, Cloud, we got some healing to do. Are you leaving? Are you leaving, Reno? You coward! And yeah, there's nothing we can do to stop this. And of course they got Aerith! Because of course they did. This was actually one thing I appreciated in Remake that we got to play this whole part where Aerith kind of went and tried to save people. I saw some people say that part was kind of fillery. I disagree. That part was cool to get that kind of extra, like, extra tidbit in Remake. And yeah, they're after Aerith because she's an ancient, so you know. Uh, there she is. And she's just telling us that Marlene is okay. That's what that is. But we gotta get the hell out of here, bro, because this shit's about to go real south. I I'm still surprised how good the, uh, like, upgraded CGs look. It is a big improvement, man. Like, some of you guys that might be using this as your way of watching, uh, the vanilla game for the first time, you might not realize, but it is a massive improvement from how the game used to be. Alright, Barrett, let's do it. Yeah, Barrett, grab the cable. We got- let's go. Let's use the cable. Hop on. How is this going to look with the upgraded graphics? I would love to know. I hope it looks really stupid. I'm pretty sure this whole this is a CG scene, right? Yeah, it is. There we go. And then it's dropping. And then we're losing sound again for some reason. Let's bring that back. I just don't know why that keeps happening, man. It's It must be like a known glitch, but for some, it just loses sound when it switches to a CG sometimes. Thankfully, I knew what to do. But yeah, you see in the in this version, 
people didn't get out, man. Like they're just they're just dead. They're they're dead. Like we lost a lot of good people that day when Sector Seven dropped, man. But and that is also gonna be where we end this first video. Oh my God, they actually modded in like Shinra, like President Shinra too. I thought that would be the same too, but no, even that's been modded in, dude. It's how how did they do this? It's so impressive, man. No one was nobody was really saved. Like we 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 lose all the avalanche people. They are 100% dead. The only one that got out was Marlene, and we're gonna find out what Avalanche does next in the next episode. So as soon as I get the chance to save the game, because Barrett obviously needs to get this out, he needs to get this out of his system. It's very sad. This part, first time playing through, I didn't even understand what happened. I was, I was a kid, man. I was I was like nine when I first played this game. So I was like, wait a minute. What happened to the avalanche guys? I had no idea, dude. So it hit so hard as a kid when I was when it finally hit me that they're all dead because I was so stupid. I was like, oh, yeah, they'll be back. They'll be back. It's hitting Barrett harder than everybody else because Barrett knew them all the best. Those were his crew. Avalanche is gone. It's just Barrett left and he's just getting even angrier at Shinra as he should. Like, he's just declaring war on them, essentially, because, yeah, they literally, at this point, have taken everything from Barrett, from his backstory, which we're going to get into in a future episode, to his new family, man. Like, it's, it's shit, man. He got absolutely screwed. They're going to go visit Aerith's mom now, because that's the logical place where Aerith would take Marlene. This is where we're going to end it right now. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more of this. This is probably going to be a weekly series on Final Fantasy VII Original, so if you're looking forward to that, expect that once a week at least. Maybe more if I have more time to make more videos. This should be maybe, I think, like a five-part series. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment to me what your favorite part of the original FF7 was. I'd like to hear it. But yeah, guys, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Till then, everybody.